Hi guys, welcome back to HowMachineWorks.com. Today let's learn about the classification and types of fluid pumps. How fluid pumps can be broadly classified and which are all the different classifications. So watch the entire video and learn it. So do you know the function of a hydraulic pump? The function of a hydraulic pump is only to create a flow. Uh, hydraulic pumps can be classified in various ways like according to the power rating, according to the fluid discharge and with about the purpose of the pump like pumps for analysis and commercial purpose are also there so they can be classified but broadly they are classified in two criteria that's first one is intermittent positive displacement pump and second is continuous rotor dynamic or the turbo pumps so let's see about these broad classifications and see the subcategories coming in the first classification that is intermittent or positive displacement pump creates a positive flow that means when the pump functions there will be a flow this pump cannot function without creating a flow that's why it's called positive displacement pumps and it creates a flow intermittently for example if you see this is a positive displacement pump when the piston this is a piston type positive displacement pump when it moves backwards what happens is that we have a suction and when it moves towards the front we have a discharge so one there is no flow two we have a flow again three there is no flow for we have a flow that's why it's called intermittent positive displacement pump it's called a positive displacement pump because it displays something positive when the pump functions there will definitely be a flow okay going into the subcategories of intermittent positive displacement pump these subcategories have been made as per the motion pattern of the enclosed volume flow there are reciprocating type positive displacement pump and rotary type positive displacement pump those are the subcategories of intermittent positive displacement pumps so in reciprocating positive displacement pump we have piston type pump and diaphragm type pump and they are of different categories like single double and duplex discharges they can have a single double or duplex discharge systems in this piston and diaphragm type pumps which are coming in reciprocating type positive displacement pump and the second category the subcategory of positive displacement pump is rotary type positive displacement pump which have single rotor type and multi rotor type positive displacement pumps okay now let's go towards the subcategories of continuous or rotor dynamic or turbo pumps so when you talk about continuous or rotor dynamic pumps they create a continuous flow if you see these are uh, gear pumps etc rotor dynamic pumps or turbine pumps they function uh, in the same working principle of turbines but in the opposite way so when they work they will have a continuous flow and they can be divided into subcategories based on the flow direction like centrifugal pumps and axial flow pumps are there so those are the subcategories of rotor dynamic pumps and these axial flow pumps and centrifugal pumps are not positive displacement pump that means when these pumps work it is not definite to give a discharge so that's the broad classifications like positive displacement pump, rotor dynamic pump and we have subcategories of positive displacement pump as reciprocating type positive displacement pump and rotary type positive displacement pump and going into continuous and rotor dynamic or turbo pumps we have subcategories of centrifugal pump and axial flow pumps so that's how broadly hydraulic pumps can be classified please click the subscribe button for getting updates as we will be uploading videos on a daily basis thanks for watching this video